Breaking tonight at 10, a once prominent figure turned convicted murderer. Tonight, a jury found Alex Murdoch guilty for the killings of his own wife and son. Good evening to you. I'm Brian Blakely. Now I'm Alicia Barnes with that verdict quickly coming down after jurors deliberated for less than three hours. The disbarred South Carolina attorney remained stoic as a unanimous guilty verdict on all counts was read. In the court of general sessions, in the term of 2022, July, the state versus Richard Alexander Murdoch defendant, indictment for murder, SC code 16-3-0010, CDR code 0116. Guilty verdict. Green City News anchor Morgan Francis was there as that verdict came down. And Morgan, so what did prosecutors have to say about this big win and what can we expect next? Well, Alicia, they consider this such a huge win, especially being the, that Murdoch had such a high stature in the community. For them, tonight it means getting some more sleep because this trial has been exhausting. But tomorrow is sentencing. The jury, as you mentioned, spent less than three hours deliberating, handing down that guilty verdict and sending Alec Murdoch to jail for killing his wife and son in June of 2021. Guilty verdict. A once prominent South Carolina attorney found guilty of killing his wife Maggie and son Paul. In a packed courthouse, Alec Murdoch remained emotionless as the verdict was read, while his only remaining son Buster silently wept. Justice was done today. It doesn't matter who your family is. It doesn't matter how much money you have or people think you have. It doesn't matter what you think, how prominent you are. If you do wrong, if you break the law, if you murder, then justice will be done in South Carolina. Alec, did you kill your wife and son? Murdoch had nothing to say as he was escorted to a jail transport van, now facing 30 years to life behind bars. Meanwhile, out front, lead prosecutor Creighton Waters thanked jurors who listened to testimony for six weeks and took just three hours to reach a verdict. And we had no doubt that if we had a chance to present our case in a court of law, that they would see through the one last con that Alec Murdoch was trying to pull. For nearly 100 years, the Murdochs have had a stronghold on the legal system in the low country. The rise to power now seen a dramatic fall from grace. When you go home tonight, hug your loved ones, Amen. hug your spouse, yes. hug your children, because this case reminds us of anything that you just you can't take for granted that people in your family are always going to be there. Those last words from Alan Wilson really hitting home for a lot of people. Morgan, the Murdoch trial made national news, international news. You were there live outside when this verdict came down. So give us an idea of what was it like there leading up to it and then once it happened. Well, Alicia, there's a lot of different media outlets here. So when news started to break that there may be a verdict, you could see across the street where a lot of media were um, watching the live stream came running literally back to their cameras to get ready for their next live shot and to, to watch the verdict be read. After the verdict was read, um, I went over to the back side of the courthouse because we knew that Alec Murdoch would be coming out of one of the doors there. And you never know if he's going to turn and say something to the camera. So we didn't want to miss that. Our photographer Trevor was here out front waiting for the prosecutors to come and speak about the case, which obviously, as I mentioned, a huge win for them. A lot of work went into this and uh, they're going home proud tonight. Back to you. Yeah, certainly a high-profile case uh, here that lasted over 28 yeah. days as far as the trial goes and all comes to this culmination within less than three hours of the verdict. All right, Morgan Francis live in Colleton County for us tonight. It's attracted international attention through every twist and turn. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis will have a full breakdown of what led up to tonight's verdict coming up at 1030. Now we want to